I have returned. Engine bay is painted. My uncle's bringing my jack because I'm about to pull this thing out, bring my uncle's car in. This is the B18 block. Just took the head off. She a little gunky, but good enough. All right, guys, I forgot to record taking off the head for the GSR, but we're checking if the valves are bent and we're using gear because we got no water or anything. Does it look like, oh, no, nah, those look good. Welcome back. Right here, we got two B-series apart. This is, I believe this one is from the all-wheel drive Civic that was in it. The transmission's over there. That's the GSR. This is the GSR head. This GSR head is going on this B18 B1. Uh, this is the manifold I'm gonna throw on it. Has 1,250cc uh, injectors. And yeah, if you were uh, throw these cam gears, I think this one already have it up. Yep. But throw these VMS cam gears on it. We're gonna see if hopefully my engine belt can throw on these CP pistons. And I got the Eagle rods in the bottom. This thing has an Eagle rod girdle on it, and I forgot that this thing also has one on the other side. Let's see if I can spin it. Oh, hold on. What the hell is it? Oh. See, look, it has a girdle on the top also. I'm gonna see if, if I can reuse this and put it on that one. Uh, this thing also has, um, I'm trying to figure out what pistons these are, but I completely forgot, but it got Eagle rods. Uh, these pistons are probably CP, C, uh, CP pistons, or I think uh, they're FW something, I forgot, but they're not the OEM ones. So I'm gonna ask them if we can reuse these. I know that, um, I mean, they are kind of damaged. You can see the scarring. This one has a little nick right here, which is still fixable that I've, I mean, heard of, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna ask him when he gets here. I don't know if you guys can see there's a lot of scratching and scarring. So, yeah. And also in the freaking cylinder walls. Let's see. There's a little bit of scratching around the silicone. I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can see a little bit there. Especially that right here, it's not really a big deal, but still gonna have it checked out. You can see right here, it goes, there's lines going straight down, which is pretty, I mean, you can see them, but they're not feelable. This one's pretty straight. This one don't really have anything. So this thing's gonna get all cleaned up. But, but yeah, man, I'm pretty excited. He's about to be here soon. I'm just gonna have these set up. I gotta grab the twin disc clutch, which is the used one, but it's still pretty good. I gotta have it ready for him. He's gonna pretty much, we're gonna see what we're gonna do with all this. These are just spare parts. I'm gonna throw it together so it can go in the all wheel drive Civic. Uh, he's gonna order me the LSD for the all wheel drive trans. So that's put on. The head is gonna stay stock. The block is just gonna have rods and pistons. 
Um, so yeah, uh, I'll get back to you guys when he's gone. We are back. Mind your brother just took the stuff that was right here in the middle. And I pushed my car in here real quick. Put the jacks up. As you can see, well, as you can see, put these wheels on it that used to be on my K-Swap Integra that I took the H-Day. So it's on the all-wheel drive now. And I'm gonna be uh, fixing my traction bar and tightening up everything with the suspension because uh, my uncle from Texas came. We just threw everything together. They're not, everything is hand tying, everything's wobbly. So I gotta, I'm gonna go over and do all that stuff real quick and have it uh, pretty much have the bars exactly where I want them. I haven't swapped out this side yet, which I have it right here. Got the new one right here. And then I'm gonna mo uh, mock up the, the freaking intercooler. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Alrighty. So I tie my traction bar, so now that thing is nice and stiff. I uh, checked my coil over, I checked uh, uh, how tall I want it to be, so that's perfect. Looks like I'm gonna have to order some, I'm gonna actually order some new control arms for the top. Probably some OEM ones, or I'm not sure what um, control arms I should get. But most likely some OEM ones, and I need to order a new ball joint for the bottom, because uh, that's trash. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna redo pretty much the whole suspension is gonna get redone anyways. I'm gonna get some wheel wood calipers on it that I'm actually gonna get off my engine builder. Uh, he has them. I just gotta take him to the car and he's gonna put them on for me. Um, I'm also gonna get uh, extended studs put on. Uh, so yeah, pretty much this thing's gonna have a lot of new uh, stuff on it for the front suspension. The rear, the rear I still gotta throw on. The coilovers, which are down there. I just went ahead and threw on the intercooler in the front. You see how it look with the black? I gotta take it back off, clean this up. Probably paint it silver or paint it black, match it. I was thinking about getting a different intercooler too. Um, an intercooler that, uh, piping that comes out from right here, right here, cause uh, I'm gonna have the intercooler piping come down. Because what I wanna do is have a, put the battery right here on the side. And I know this intercooler and the way how the piping is, is gonna cause me from putting that there. But I don't know yet, I'm thinking about putting it inside and keeping it inside. I don't wanna keep it in a trunk. Um, but yeah, for right now, it's kinda getting late. Uh, I just did that side. I'm gonna have to push this thing car, I'm gonna have to push this car in more so I can throw in the rears, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Right now it's getting late. So I'll see you guys when it's daytime. All right, people, so I'm back. It's been a couple of days since I dropped off the motor and I also ordered some parts for the car. Um, I'm just gonna go over them real quick. I mean, even though this is the end of the video, I'm sorry that it's kind of random, but I'm trying to record and live my life at the same time. So yeah, I've been pretty busy. But yeah, I'll go like this. Pretty sure you guys, I showed you guys that Sorry, mocking up the intercooler, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, like the motor is out, my engine is right now getting done. And I'm gonna try to get these parts installed before I get them back. But yeah, anyways, the two are over there, are right here now. So this is a plate for, um, uh, pretty much I'm gonna have a staging brake. So I ordered this online, eBay. Both of that stuff was eBay. This was like, uh, I forgot, but I put them up, both up right here and I'm gonna test them out. This thing is pretty thick and nice. The one thing I hate is that um, the screws that you have to get mounted down, see how it has that little groove to put the bolts down? It's like in the wrong way. Like literally like my feet and everything's gonna be in the way right here where the surging brake is. So I have to flip it upside down like this. And hopefully when I order my shifter box for the all wheel drive trans, when I put the bolts right here, they don't hit. I hope they don't hit the, whoops, hit the top of the. Um, I mean, I hope the bolts that get bolted down, uh, holding this bracket down. I hope these two bolts and I think these right here also, don't hit the bottom of the shifter. So we about to test it out. And plus, I already knew this thing wasn't gonna mount right onto this thing. So 
it's gonna sit like that in the car with the shifter box right here probably gonna have something like that or an angle or something i don't know yet um most likely i'm gonna have to drill out holes because the holes don't line up so yeah i'm gonna have to drill holes on the inside but yeah i'm gonna wait until i get the shifter box i'm gonna order from jackson racing or jack spania whatever you guys call it and then this right here it's just new spindles and uh new threads for geez i can't talk right now those are new spindles and then down here this uh big ass box it's just full of new control arms upper control arms um tie rods uh ball joint bushings so yeah because that one down there is shot and i got this crappy aftermarket one that was already on the car so i'm gonna get that changed yeah, um, pretty much this car right here, I want to have like nice new suspension parts. I don't have to worry about the suspension later. And um, yeah, I'm going to pick up the camera again and record more once, once I get the block and the transmission black. Because right now, I'm stuck where I'm at. I got to wait until my Jubila finishes putting together my LSD trans and, uh, and my motor. So... Stay tuned for more content, guys, and probably most most likely next video, I'm going to be installing uh, the suspension parts and revealing the motor, so that'll be the next video. I mean, well, I don't need to reveal anything. You're just going to just see it all together, and super excited about that. I have all the extra parts right here, like the T-bracket, the motor mounts, the turbo, the top mount uh, intercooler. Oh, there goes my dad. So I'll catch you guys later.